Hello everyone and welcome back to Now Streaming with me, Frank Javier, and today I'm reviewing the entire series of Moon Knight, which I have to say, I am very surprised that I'm giving it a good review because I was not expecting it. I thought this was the worst show that Marvel has put on Disney Plus so far. Episode 1 was great. It really grabbed my attention and had some really good elements. And then Episode 2, 3, and 4, they were a total snooze fest. I was bored out of my mind. It took me weeks to see them all. Finally, I got to Episode 4 that had that really weird ending. And I was like, wait, what is this? What's going on? It, the ending was really out of came out of left field. So I was excited to see what was going to happen in episode 5. Then episode 5 was amazing. What a great episode that was. And then it finished off now with episode 6 on a high. They really stuck that landing, which is super important. And then they gave us that amazing end credit scene. So yes, I am totally telling you guys to go watch Moon Knight if you haven't. Especially if you haven't seen the last episode. Make sure you see that end credit scene. So many of my friends never stick around to see the ending, and this one has, I think, one of the better end credit scenes that Marvel has put out in a while. They gave us, finally, Jake Lockley, the third identity for Mark Spector, and it was really good because now it keeps us uh, excited for a season two. It moves the narrative forward to what's to come, and that's what we uh, want from a good end credit scene in this one delivered so like i was saying uh the show was not it did not start the best way but it stuck that landing and when you have a tv show or or even a movie the ending has to be powerful and memorable because that's what you're leaving with so if it's not good you're going to end on a low note and kind of forget the show. You, you might remember, like, oh, I started good, but then the end, eh, my. look at what happened to Game of Thrones. Best show ever made, by far, Game of Thrones. And then that ending, so many people were, were hating on it because it did not deliver what we wanted. I enjoyed it, but a lot of people didn't. So look at what happened to Game of Thrones. Look at that reputation that it has because of just a weak ending. But this show, they gave us a great ending. So the question now is, is it going to be, is there going to be a season two or is it over, right? Um, to my knowledge and from doing some research, when it was uh, announced that we were getting a Moon Knight show, and they called it series, a series. Usually when they called it, when they call it a series, it means like a limited series, only one season, it's over and that's it, right? But yesterday on Twitter... I think it was Marvel's account or a Moon Knight account posted something about the finale and it called it a series finale. But then they deleted it and reposted it and they reworded it to season finale. So is that a hint that we're going to get a season two? I sure hope so because I want to know more about Jake Lockley. Clearly that is the one identity that Mark has that gave us all those jump uh, uh, edits during the season when he was like fighting and then it jumped from that moment to a little bit towards the future and everybody else was dead and he beat everybody. That was clearly Jake Lockley. So he's the tough one out of the three identities. So now we have Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, and Jake Lockley. So I want to know more, right? So the question is, if we do get a season two, and also will Moon Knight, Mark, Steven, or Jake, will they be appearing in Marvel movies? That's what I want to know. Is he going to be integrated into the big movies, right? So the first thing I want to say about the show is that this show have worked without Oscar Isaac. Boy, did he do a great job. I mean, he gave us three different personalities. And even though Mark Spector is the main one, I fell in love with Stephen Grant. He was so sweet and so funny. Uh, he really did a great job bringing uh, Stephen to life. And it really pained me on season five when we thought he was dead. And thankfully, they brought him back. 
So I'm really glad they did that. But Oscar Isaac, man, he deserves a big round of applause. Great job. Just for him, you should watch the show, okay? Now, other things about the show that I truly loved now in the series finale, I loved that Layla, the love interest, she started off as the typical love interest. She's a little bit tough and sassy, right? They're trying to make her independent because they don't want to fall into those stereotypes of the, the females always being, you know, the damsel. So Layla really grew on me in the later episodes and even more when out of nowhere she became a superhero herself. So Towerette asked her to be Towerette's avatar and then she became a superhero to help uh, Mark in the end and I loved it. It. I was cheering so hard when she came out with those wings and the costume and the hair. I mean, it was powerful. It was beautiful. And I absolutely loved it. I'm glad they did that. They gave her a great arc. They, they made her something different than what we've seen of other uh, Marvel uh, female non-superhero characters. Although I guess now she might be a superhero, right? So it looks like the Marvel starting to integrate that a little bit more because, as we know, we're going to get that uh, in Thor with um, Natalie Portman becoming uh, the mighty Thor. So that was a great move on their part to do that with Layla because otherwise Layla would have been a very forgettable character, and this was a way to keep her in, in our minds and wanting more. I want to see now what she can do and if she's going to stay as that superhero. Um, and especially love the part where she saves a little girl and the little girl looks at her and she says, are you an Egyptian superhero? And she's like, I am. And the little girl's like so happy. I mean, that's beautiful to see, right? For other cultures to see Hollywood projects, movies or TV shows and be able to see something that they can get excited about. I loved it. So uh, that was something really special about the ending of, of this show. And another thing that I loved but did not quite like so much was um, uh, Ethan Hawke's Arthur Harrow character. I loved him as Arthur Harrow. No complaint there. I just don't like that at the end, you know, they killed him. Or did they, right? But it seemed like they did. However, they, they did it kind of like off screen. You don't really see his body, you know, fall or be dead, but... It is Marvel after all, they might bring him back, and I hope they do, because Ethan Hoptic did an amazing job with this character. He was so, like, evil, and, and I love that, right? So that was great. So, really what I want to tell you guys is that I am so excited for this show. I was not expecting it. Uh, I really want to know what's going to happen in the future with Moon Knight. Maybe they'll give us a season two. Cool. I'll be happy with the season two. But I also want to see if they're going to integrate him in into the movies. What is he going to be like in the movie? How is he going to be? How is he going to interact with the other Marvel characters? Uh, obviously, this is the, the first step for Marvel's horror phase. You know, Blade's coming. Uh, Werewolf by Night is coming. So different things that are going to be living within the Marvel Universe that are horror. So this is the start of it. So I really wonder how uh, it's all going to come out. I'm really excited now because this really uh, uh, excited me. You know, I was not expecting the ending and I really enjoyed it. So guys, what do you think? Did you like uh, Moon Knight? Did you uh, like the ending? Did you like Layla becoming a superhero and helping him out? What did you think of Jake Lockley and the uh, end credit scene? Uh, do you think there'll be more to come? And if you do, and maybe you know some of the comic book storylines, share them down, down below because I want to know more. I don't read the comics. So I really want to know everything you guys have to say and if you guys enjoyed it or not. So again, guys, thank you so much for uh, listening and watching my review. I'm Frank Javier, and I am signing off.